Hey guys, it's Gerald from Firewalls.com and guess what? I'm back with another Ruckus tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure a device access policy. Now as always, we're going to start on the home page of the dashboard. So once you get logged in, you want to make your way down to Admin and Services. Services. Access Control. You with me? Let me do that again just in case you didn't follow. Home page. Admin and Services. Services. Access Control. Alright, now when you get to access control, you're going to want to navigate over to device access policy. Come down here to create new. Now we're going to name the policy. I'm going to name this one default. And hit create new. Now here's where it gets a little interesting. Here, you can actually select what type of device you want to either allow to onto the network or deny access from the network so if you're like me um, and you have a preference um, I don't too much uh, particularly care for Apple products so I'm gonna go Apple iOS and I'm gonna choose deny I'm gonna save this and as you can see it says any type of Apple device trying to connect onto the network is gonna deny so I'm gonna hit OK there and as you can see it's created here default actually I think I'm going to go in and I'm going to change that to Apple Apple deny alright makes it easier to follow alright so cool Apple deny and let's say you know for the for the purpose of this video I'm going to create another one and I'm going to call it Android deny create new come down to Android deny click save then OK so now we have both policies here both our Apple deny and our Android deny so once the policies are created now you're gonna come up to your Wi-Fi networks choose the network that you want to add the policy to I'm going to add it to the test network I'm going to click there and hit edit then I'm going to come down here to show advanced options once I get down here I'm going to navigate over to access control and I'm going to come down here to device policy now once you get to device policy you should be able to see your Android deny and Apple deny policies so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off and go ahead and do Android Deny and click OK. Now once I click OK, uh, currently both devices are connected to the network. Once I click OK, I'll be able to go back in, do a refresh, and it should drop the Android device off the network if everything works properly. So let's hit OK. We'll come down here to clients as you can see they're both still connected so what I'll do is I'll do a refresh come down here and as you can see it dropped the Android device off the network so now what I can do to double test this out go back into your networks come down edit show advanced options and now instead of Android deny, I'm going to switch it to Apple deny. Come down here, click OK. Look at my clients. You see the Apple device is connected, so I'll do a refresh here. So as you can see, both devices are connected. So what I'll do is... I'll do another refresh and it should drop the Apple device off and as you can see the Apple device is gone so as you can see enforcing access controls based on devices operating systems can be pretty powerful this is a pretty common setup for internal wireless networks where we want to allow our internal workstations the ability, the ability to connect, but we don't necessarily want our employees connecting their mobile devices to our secure internal network. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos to come. Thank you guys for your time today. Have a good one.